doing it wrong all those things you will not be able to uh, judge by yourself so we should give you a glimpse of what is good what is bad what is correct what is not correct if that is known probably like uh, not 100 percentage but at least 80 to 90 percentage you will be very careful when you are doing some stuff okay so that is the reason uh, we are giving you this topic research ethics so uh, if you see most of the uh, people the good people they are innocent and sometimes ignorant very few people are uh, ignorant but most of the good people become they they become innocent and they 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 have their own problems when they, they are innocent and they do something okay so some some places uh, where you can go wrong is accidentally doing something or some of the misdemeanors we, uh, we can uh, think of some of the misdemeanors that is trying to take shortcuts or trying to do solutions in a faster manner all those things can create problems or uh, trying to develop new new, new methods and technologies you will try to fumble or we, you try to develop new technologies which are already there uh, you think that that is a good a new technology but that is not a new technology sometimes uh, maybe you are in a group of uh, a team of four or five working in a group okay and one person does a wrong and it affects the whole group okay so the wrong of others can influence or then that can create a bad name bad impression for against your name and that can also create a problem and uh, what are the things that has to be done it is not clear because since you are new researchers new newly you are joining or you are starting your research trying to do some projects uh, you will not know which is right and which is wrong and sometimes uh, the psychological tendencies of self deception so these things uh, can uh, create problem okay so these are the things like misdemeanors uh, sometimes uh, the pressure publish or perish suppose you you try to uh, be in a group of people where everybody is performing well and it is like peer pressure okay peer pressure is there you have to publish you should also perform like how we are doing since other faculty members are publishing i also should publish since i am publishing my friends wanted to publish or wants to publish so like that everybody is having some peer pressure and everybody is trying to put pressure on you so that you have to publish and sometimes in search of job suppose you complete your uh, mtech course and you want to join uh, as a teacher uh, most of the time the question asked is how many papers you published in during your mtech course previously like 3 4 years back it was not that question but for the past 3 4 years things have changed people are asking whether you have published anything during your mtech or msc degree so that was not the order when we did our mtech we did our mtech just to complete the degree and get a job but now it is not like that we have to do research we have to do publications then only you can get a job or retain a job and keeping up with uh, peers okay so that's what i was telling your friends are publishing so you also should publish so that is a problem and uh, uh, these other two things are mostly related to uh, a phd scholars but still if you want to uh, write a, a public i mean grant project grant getting some fund so then you have to uh do some uh, just a minute okay sorry <clears throat> so sometimes you try to be, uh, discover new things all those things are there so that is, that is the peer pressure that are uh, making you to do something wrong okay so what is the moral foundation of any research uh, doing good for fellow humans that is one of the most important thing when you do some research uh, you try to develop new technologies new products just to help your uh, fellow human being or the animals that are living with us and the planet as a whole and for the future generation maybe our future generation should have a better life than what we are having it now that is mo most of the time these are the reasons which uh, motivates us to uh, do research some some people are there who try to find out some truth and knowledge 
so basic science people science people if you see they do research to find out some truth and develop some knowledge so ethical guidelines uh, there are three things which you should know when you are trying to be ethical one is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth if you are saying it is a truth then be honest about your research if you are declaring that you are whatever is uh, whatever you are writing or whatever you are publishing is a whole truth then that means that you are trying to omit some of your research findings uh, that might constitute some misconduct or some violation of moral norms so that is called a whole truth and nothing but truth is nothing but puffing up your results or adding irrelevant or misleading information or overstating the importance of whatever you are doing say, say for example you try to do something okay you get a result suppose your result has to be 1 okay the answer should be 1 but you are getting 0.08 or sorry 0.89 okay it is not 1 actually but what you are what you are getting is 0.89 now what you do uh, because you know this 1 is the correct answer you try to manipulate and try to bring it to 1 so that is the uh, puffing up of results or adding irrelevant information okay uh, suppose whatever you are doing experiment you are doing that is not as per the international standard now what you do you try to incorporate some of the standard numbers okay standards there are certain numbers are given for every standard you try to incorporate all these numbers and uh, try to manipulate or uh, add irrelevant and misleading information so that when somebody is reading your article somebody is reading your research they will understand that you have you are, they might understand that you are doing it correctly or you have done it correctly but at the at only you know that what you have done is correct or not so these are the uh, three ethical guidelines you should follow one is the truth okay you have to be always truthful the reason why you have to be truthful is whatever you are doing either it comes from some funding okay some participation some collaboration or might be it is influencing the institution uh, as a whole so when thinking about funding every research needs money every researcher needs money to do some project so from where you are getting money either you get it from your parents or either you get it from the institute or either you get it from research grant so when you think about all these money it's a public funding okay when when somebody is given money they are accountable okay you have to be accountable to the funding source you have to be, you have you have to be accountable to your parents you have to be accountable to the institution where you are studying you have to be accountable to the uh, funding agency which you, uh, has provided you some funds to do your research so you have to be truthful to all these three people the next one is uh, research participation respect with respect their autonomy so some uh, some people some 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 of the researchers might need some participation from other uh, 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 parts of life that is other society for example some research like ergonomics research or some uh, medicinal research biotech research it might require some people to participate in that okay you have to uh give them some respect okay respect their autonomy and you have to think about th them as one of the important aspect of your research and you have to be very careful in doing that then colleagues and collaborators okay they might follow your footsteps sometimes the uh, colleagues might follow your footsteps say i started working on uh, composite uh, then later people other people they started working on composite so i have to give correct answer correct uh, information to the people those are doing Uh, uh, material I mean, work on composite material. Otherwise, whatever I did, they might not receive the same result because if I am giving a wrong information, they might follow that wrong information and they might not get the right result. So you have to be very careful in declaring the information. And uh, the university and the institution which gives you employment or which uh, helps you to learn your uh, earn your degree or learn your course, you should not give disgrace. to the employer so employer as well as the institute where you are studying okay and also your parents so this 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 will also go to your family also so you have to be think you you should not think that sir i am only doing a copying of research it is not stealing or uh, what is that big thing that is going to happen okay there are a lot of things that can happen if uh, you are not following ethics uh, uh, you might have uh, read the, some articles written in the newspapers about some of the iit professors who copied or who plagiarized some works even their own works they copied and published again and again that was also put in the newspaper and they their 
entire family name was damaged okay family also uh, will get damaged family name also will get damaged if uh, you are uh, doing some some mischievous things or some copying thing or even if you are copying your own stuff and doing it again and again so it is going to be difficult for you to manage that kind of a situation so you have to be careful in doing research or in doing uh, projects okay what are the areas of specific concern one is um, research misconduct that is falsification of data uh, you give a wrong information wrong uh, uh, data to others in your research article or in your uh, thesis dissertation second one um, second one fabrication fabrication means you 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 are trying to fabricate a new data even without doing any experiment you try to develop some uh, regression equation or some some kind of uh, results so that is fabrication of results and uh, plagiarism that is just plainly it is called as copying others okay so these are the three research misconducts you can uh, uh, you can any any time you can involve in okay and some sometimes there can be other ethical issues like collaboration issues like authorship data management okay uh, like five people come together and do a work like now we have asked our uh, you you people we, we we have started working on the uh, collaborative paper now four people are working on a paper okay uh, four or five people are working on a paper now who is the first author who will be the second author whether you are going to give authorship for the teacher who is teaching you like me or if there are any other teacher who is going to guide you in the department whether you are going to give authorship to them okay like all these questions should be solved even before you start working on it on the paper because once you finish and you publish now the idea of writing a collaborative paper was given by me so i can claim that sir uh, I, I can claim uh, I, or i can write to the editor where you published the paper that the idea was mine of course i did not give the conceptual idea but i gave the idea of collaborating each other that i cannot claim as uh, the co-author i'm just sell, telling an example okay and some some teacher or some faculty would have uh, helped you in writing the paper uh, if you have not if you are not giving the authorship to that particular faculty uh, he or she might again raise an issue that they have not given authorship to me this is the uh, idea which i gave this is the uh, the paper entire paper i only helped them to write like that kind of a question so that kind of a uh, problem should not arise out of your publication or research data management in case if i develop a data or generate the data and you try to take the data and use it but without giving due credits to me even without acknowledging my efforts so that becomes again an issue i can i can uh, file a, a lawsuit against uh, people those are misusing my data so that will become another problem for people those are doing or uh, misusing the data and uh, the ownership of the data so there are other concerns peer review conflict of interest okay suppose i tell something and somebody else my co-author tells something i am dragging one side and he is dragging one side so that becomes conflict of interest and sometimes complexity and funding sources they will not allow you to do publications like if you are doing projects with the drdo they will not allow you to publish uh, we have done one project with drdo uh, they are not allowing us to do patent of that work uh, they say that they only will do it and uh, will be just co-applicants and uh, that is not correct because all the efforts were put by us only thing is they gave funding because of that we have to oblige to them uh, and we should we we have already accepted their terms and conditions so we should not uh, raise any question like this kind of things can arise then sometimes using animal subjects or uh, human subjects like if you are doing some biotech research trying to develop medicine for covid uh, you have to test it on animals then test it on human beings that also is a problem that also has ethical issues so these these things you have to take it into account okay so like this is the project uh, misconduct so uh, if you see this this image if you see uh, just rotating an image and publishing it in another paper like that simple uh, manipulation of data or fabrication of data or false communication of data so just copying another person's idea process results or words without giving appropriate credit to them that is called plagiarism okay these things now i told you management or data peer review conflict of interest okay um, then conflict of obligation right mm, then complicity and funding i told you 
okay weaponizing technology and animal subject research so you have to be very careful when you are doing animal subject research you have to concentrate on these three r's one is refine reduce replace refine means refining experiments to cause less pain and distress okay so you have to when you are trying to do research on uh, animals you have to be very careful you have to try to reduce the cause the, that is uh, the the pain that is caused in the animals trying to reduce that second one is reduce the number of animals that are used instead of using 100 animals killing 100 animals just try to uh, incorporate only few and fewer number of animals one or two animals try to finish your experiment and try to replace high, higher order animals with lower order ones like instead of using uh, horses goats uh, cows like that you can try using rats rabbits lower order animals which are not very significant but at the same time you have to be very careful you should not misuse or use in a larger number so all these things are there and when you are trying to do or involved human subject you have to follow the nuremberg code one is uh, you have to get voluntary consent from the person who is working on it and uh, you should have uh, it, it it is done only for the good of society just for the sake of say for example uh, the facial creams Uh, the fairness creams for that you should not use uh, uh, human beings for testing okay that is not anything happening for uh, society good thing happening for society but at the same time if you are finding an injection so uh, i mean vaccination for covid then you can try it on human beings because it is going to bring good to the society so that is a difference you should know the difference whether to use it on human beings or not if at all you want to test this fair and lovely or fairness cream you test it on yourself and find out whether it is working don't try to uh, don't try to uh, do it on a human being uh, who is not uh, i mean when it is not relevant for the society okay and also you should know the prior knowledge before using it on animals sorry before using it on human beings you have to try using it on animals for experiments then no physical and mental suffering you should not involve i mean you should not break the leg and try to heal the leg or you should not uh, tear your the screen and try to heal the screen by uh, skin by applying your ointment so you should not create injury you should not create mental suffering also when you are trying to work with human beings also no, it should not cause your experiment should not cause death or uh, disability to the person who is uh, involved in or who is the subject who is your subject okay and you should follow all humanitarian uh, principles and safety is first you should also use qualified personnel suppose you are developing a medicine biotech scientists they develop a medicine but injecting a medicine a doctor only should do it so if you are really a doctor you can do the injection injecting procedure otherwise you should not do it so safety first and qualified personnel and the subject subjects discretion to stop so when you are trying to do experiment on a human being uh, the human being is the subject he should be able to tell that when to stop when to start so if he is saying that you should stop then the experiment should be halted you cannot continue even if he says no if you are if you are continuing the experiment that is against the ethics so every university or every institution has an ethical committee to monitor such projects projects on animals projects on human beings they have to give clearance they will conduct an audit find the procedures what you are doing they will give you a clearance based on the clearance only you can uh, do this work okay otherwise you cannot uh, continue the research okay and research ethics in general okay moral principles should be followed uh, and a set of ethics governed by every institution should be followed to conduct the experiments in fair fairness or with responsibility with honesty with moral principles and with your conscience okay you should you should not leave your conscience when you are doing some experiment some of the uh, researchers you might have seen in some uh news channels where people are trying to uh, deliberately send these viruses into the mass people killing many people and trying to find solution for that this is kind of unethical way of doing it china has done it and this is an unethical way of uh, handling a, uh, a virus so that that has created a pandemic now and you see one year one and a half years now we are struggling to revive our economy revive our uh, educational system uh we are not seeing each other just over uh, this particular platform zoom platform or google meet platform we are talking to each other uh, you have not seen me at least i have shown my some videos sometimes but you have not shown your faces until now i don't know 
even if you come in front of me after five years, I will not be able to recognize that you are my student. So that has happened. Now, you might know that I, I taught you, but I will not know whether you, you are my student or not. Okay, even next semester, if, you, if uh, people are allowing you to come inside, government is allowing you to come inside. If you're walking past me, I will not know that you are my student. If you wish me, I might think that, okay, this is some student who, who is wishing me. I will not know that uh, you are my student, you were my student, and I taught you something. So this thing has happened because of this pandemic, and that is because of the unethical way of doing some research. So you have to be following all ethical policies, principles when you are doing uh, uh, research. Okay, So it's a state of mind uh, the, uh, to promote the aim of the research you have to follow your ethics, uh, I mean, research ethics, support the values required for collaborative work. Research is held, researchers are held accountable when something goes wrong. Uh, the researchers are held accountable and the public trust is very, very important whenever you do something. Now, whenever some, some uh, research happens on nuclear uh, energy, people come and uh, agitate. They come and fight against this nuclear energy. They say that it is not a clean energy, but uh, the scientists claim that that is a clean energy but it is not a clean energy. It has a lot of other problems associated with that. So you have to earn public trust before doing something. And also social values and moral values are important when you are doing research. Okay, so these are the codes of ethics. One is honesty and integrity. Uh, report your research uh, article or research, whatever you're doing honestly. And objectivity, without any objectivity, you should not uh, do research. That is, there should not be any bias when you're doing research. Uh, carefulness, you have to be uh, careful when you are doing your research and whatever you are producing, the results are to be credible. Okay, It should have some credibility and uh, without that credibility, whatever research you do, then it is going to be a waste. And openness, be, be prepared to share it. Once you publish your data, it becomes a public document. Try to share it with others so that anybody who tries to follow your footsteps can be uh, I mean, they can try a little extra with the data already that is available with you. Okay, uh, respect the IPR. Never copy from others. Never try to steal from others. Uh, of course, some people are there. Uh, they don't have. Uh, I mean, they don't think a lot. They just try to steal from others. But at least now, when we when we have some uh, resources available like literatures that are available uh, already, uh, the internet has a lot of uh, information database. You can yourself develop your own idea, develop your concept instead of copying from others. Maintain confidentiality, uh, protect sensitive information, and uh, publication. At, uh, just to do publications because you have to disseminate the knowledge. Because you have done something, you have developed something, or found out something that should be disseminated to the future researchers or peers or even the scientists who have already accomplished something. Sometimes whatever you do, that that they may not know it. Uh, I have an example, but that will be like boasting myself that I will not tell you. But some of the researchers who have followed one of our technique uh, is a very senior scientist. They have followed our uh, followed our method. They they even wrote me a mail that stating that uh, they are following my method and thanking me for uh, uh, in doing that uh, small uh, innovation in my project. Okay, legality. Okay, be aware of laws and regulations. Uh, when some some in some case in some places some things are not allowed the same thing is allowed in some other state say for example uh, uh, in one one district it may be uh, correct and in another district it may be uh, wrong okay for example the farming community uh, they need water in surplus okay when uh, when tamil nadu is asking for water and kerala is also requiring water karnataka also is requiring water but tamil nadu says that we need more water sometimes that is an issue it goes to the uh, court and this kind of law legal problems will happen so in one place it is correct and in another place it is wrong uh, when tamil nadu says we require water karnataka says we will not give water so it's just an example i'm telling but this can happen in any of the research also research can also have some kind of legal issues when it is declared like for example uh, bt uh, products like bi biotechnologically modified products in us it is acceptable in india it is not acceptable in in other parts of the world, some countries they accept and some countries they don't accept. Now, if you are doing a research on BT products, in India, you may not be able to publish. You can publish elsewhere. In Maybe in US, you can publish or elsewhere. Cloning. Cloning is not it's legal illegal in India, but it might be legal in other countries. So you have to be careful in doing 
such kind of research and animal care respect all creatures so these are the codes of ethics today we'll stop with this codes of ethics uh, the next class i will start with uh, plagiarism okay you can just uh, drop in your mess i mean you, you can drop in your uh, i think attendance is already taken so you can just leave because i have another meeting you might have heard i have to enter into the other meeting thank you sir thank you sir yeah thank you thank you sir thank you 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 Thank you, sir.